Hello and welcome to CET 4884 Security Methods and Practice. In this session we will discuss the process of encryption and define some important key terms. We will identify and discuss common approaches to uh, cryptography. The discussion will include the purpose of using uh, cryptography and encryption as a technology to provide sophisticated approach to security. There are many security related tools used embedded encryption technologies. You can explore yourself the different available tools in the market to understand how it works and how uh, it's being Im Im implemented. <coughs> Knowing that encryption converts a message into a form that is unreadable by the unauthorized personnel will lead us to addressing the advantages and disadvantages of using cryptography. Although not a specific application or security tool, encryption represents a sophisticated approach to uh, security that is implemented in many security systems. In fact, many security related tools use embedded encryption technologies to protect sensitive information handled by the application. Encryption is the process of converting an original message into a form that is uh, unreadable by unauthorized individuals. Those individu individuals can be defined as anyone without the tools to convert the encrypted message back to its original format. The science of encryption, known as cryptog uh, cryptology, encompasses cryptography from the Greek words crypto, where the, this part, the cryptos, which means hidden, while uh, graphene, the second part of the word means to write so to write hidden write in hidden words crypto analysis is the process of obtaining the original message or plain text from an encrypted message or cipher text without the knowledge of the algorithms and keys used to perform the encryption we cannot actually uh, convert that message. The algorithm of, of encryption is the mathematical formula used to convert an encrypt, uh, unencrypted message into an encrypted message. Encryption is associated with many terms that may uh, or that we need to identify and understand such as cipher we need to understand this word and cipher is the transformation of the individual components characters bytes or bits of an unencrypted message into encrypted uh, components so we are hiding it with cipher we are actually actually hiding that message the cipher text is the hidden message that will be generated so uh, we can say that it's the unintelligible encrypted or encoded message resulting from an encryption and sometimes we call it cryptogram cryptogram code is the transformation of the larger component words or phrase of unencrypted message into encrypted uh, components uh, crypto system is the set of transformations uh, necessary to convert an unencrypted message into an encrypted message decipher is to decrypt or convert the cipher text into plain text so it's the opposite of hidden of hiding the uh, hiding the uh, text or the message into um, uh, exposing that message or uh, changing it into plain text where we can read it so plain text is the original unencrypted message that is encrypted and results from the successful decryption uh, in cipher is to encrypt or convert plain text to cipher text. The notion used to describe the encryption process differs depending on uh, the source. The first uses the letters M to represent the original message, C to represent the ending cipher text, and E to represent the encryption process. 
so we can say I will try to write it here but also I will add uh, later on um, I will add um, something to indicate that so we can say um, that if I have an M as a message and I can encrypt that message then that will give me the cipher uh, text or the cipher message or the hidden message and this is the formula that uh, usually used now if you want to decrypt that then we will decrypt this back again after we cipher it so you decrypt but in this case in this case instead of getting the C we will get the we will get the message itself so M is the message E is the encryption if I encrypt the message then I decrypt it I will get the message itself and this is again the formula that we use in some cases we can use a key for the message or to decrypt the message and we send it with the encrypted uh, message and if we have a key then E at this point will include the message and it will include the key and once encrypted we get the cipher message so this is if we have a key and again if we decrypt we'll get the message but when we decrypt we need the key to be associated with it so we can decrypt it now look at the simple form of encryption based on uh, two concepts the block cipher and the exclusive or operation with the block cipher method uh, in this method the message is divided into blocks uh, that is uh, 8 or 16 bits blocks and then each block is transformed using the algorithm and the key in encryption um, operation the most commonly used algorithms include uh, two functions substitution and, trans and transposition in a substitution cipher you substitute one value for another this is a simple enough method by itself it's very simple but with uh, other combined operations it's very powerful this type of substitution is based on uh, uh, what's what we call mono alphabetic substitution which is uh, substituting of one alphabetic um, uh, or one of the alphabets in the message more advanced substitution ciphers use two or more alphabets and are referred to as poly alphabetic substitutions uh, the uh, Caesar reportedly used a three value shift to the right giving the particular substitution cipher the name or his name uh, which is called the Caesar cipher just like the substitution operation the transposition cipher is simple to understand but can be complex to decipher if properly used um, unlike the substitution cipher the transposition cipher or permutation cipher simply rearrange the values within a block to create the cipher text this can be done at the bit level or at the byte character level this figure shows the Wigner uh, 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 square uh, which was used for encryption viewing the cipher as a substitution where a different alphabet was used for the for the next letter of the message with the alphabets repeating periodically according to some key 
The transposition cipher or permutation cipher method simply rearranges the values within the block, uh, a block to create the ciphertext as we said before. This can be done at the bit level or at the byte character level. Uh, transposition uh, ciphers move these bits or bytes to another location in the block. So, uh, for example, uh, bit 1 becomes bit 4 and bit 2 becomes bit 7. That's just an example. The exclusive OR operation, uh, XOR, is a function of Boolean uh, algebra whereby two bits are compared. Uh, and if the two bits are identical, the result is a binary of 0. If the two bits are not the same, the result is a binary of 1. And, you know, with the binary system and the OR and the XOR and uh, the uh, all uh, the logic behind that, I'm assuming that you took other courses uh, that will uh, show you how the binary system works and how uh, it's being um, uh, translated. Also known as the one-time pad, the Vernam cipher was developed at at and and uses a one-use set of characters, the value of which is added to the block of text. The resulting sum is then converted to text. When the two are added, if the values exceed 26, 26 is subtracted from the total module or modulo, 26, the corresponding results are then converted back to text. The running key cipher is a type of uh, polyalphabetic substitution cipher that uses text from book as a key to decrypt a message. In this case, the cipher text will contain uh, codes representing page, line, and word numbers. The algorithm of decrypting is the process of looking up the references from the ciphertext and converting each reference to a word by using the ciphertext value and the key. And usually they use dictionaries for that. This figure shows the var various hash values that's being created by the hash function. And the hash algorithm are publicly known functions that create a hash value, also known as a message digest, by converting value, uh, variable length uh, messages into a single fixed length value. The message digest is uh, like a fingerprint of the author's message that is to, to be compared with the receiver's locally calculated hash of the same message and that's just a kind of authorization that will be given to the receiver to read the message so hashing the functions or hashing functions do not require the use of keys but a message authentication code which is essentially a one-way hash value that is encrypted with a, sym a symmetric key the recipients must uh, possess the key to access the message digest and to confirm message integrity. In general, uh, cryptographic algorithms are uh, often uh, grouped into two broad categories, the symmetric and asymmetric, uh, but uh, in practice, today's popular uh, uh, crypto systems use a hybrid combination of both the symmetric and asymmetric algorithms. The symmetric and asymmetric algorithms can be distinguished by the types of keys they use for encryption and decryption uh, operations. Symmetric uh, encryption indicates that the same key, also known as a secret key, is used to conduct both the encryption and decryption of the message. Symmetric encryption methods can be extremely efficient 
requiring minimal processing to either encrypt or decrypt the message. The problem is that both the sender and receiver must own the encryption key. If either copy of the key is compromised, an intermediate can decrypt and read the message. One of the challenges of symmetric key encryption is getting a copy of the key to the receiver, a process that must be conducted out of the band to avoid encryption. This figure shows an example of passing an encrypted message between two persons using symmetric encryption. And we can see that the key here in this case is identical in both sides, the sender and the receiver. There are a number of popular symmetric encryption uh, crypto systems. Uh, one of the most familiar is Data encrypt, uh, Encryption Standard, or what we call DES, DES Data Encryption Standard, uh, developed in 1977 by IBM and based on the Data Encrypted Algorithm. The, uh, the Data algor uh, Encryption Algorithm uses a 64-bit uh, block size and 56-bit key uh, the algorithm begins by adding parity bits to the key, resulting in 64 bits and then uh, applies the key in 16 rounds of uh, XOR substitution and transposition operations. With a 56 key, the algorithm has 256 possible keys to choose from, over 72 quadrillion. Data encryption standard is uh, federally approved standard for non-classified data. Data encryption standard was cracked in 1997 when uh, Rivest Shamar uh, Al uh, Aldeman uh, put a bounty on the algorithm. Rivest offered a 10,000 reward for the first person or team to crack the algorithm. 14,000 users collaborated over the internet to finally break the encryption. Another category of encryption techniques is a symmetric encryption, also known as a public key encryption. Whereas the symmetric key encryption systems are based on a single key to both encrypt and decrypt a message, the asymmetric encryption uses two different keys. Either key can be used to encrypt or decrypt the message. However, if the key A is used to encrypt the message, only the key B can decrypt. And if the key B is used to encrypt the message, only key A can decrypt it. The public key is stored in a public location where anyone can use it. The private key, as its name, suggest its secret known only to the owner of the key pair. The problem with asymmetric uh, encryption is that it requires uh, four keys to hold a, a single conversation between two parties. Asymmetric encryption is not an, as efficient as symmetric encryptions in terms of uh, CPU uh, computations. As a result, the hybrid system describes, described in the section on public key uh, infrastructure is more commonly used, instead of a pure uh, asymmetric system. Uh, this figure shows an example of asymmetric uh, encryption, which uses two different um, but related keys. As you can see here, the keys are different, but um, considered as uh, related keys. When using uh, ciphers, one of the decisions that has to be made uh, is the size of the uh, crypto variable or key. The strength of many encryptions 
uh, encryption applications and uh, crypto systems is measured by the key size. When it comes to uh, crypto systems, the security of the uh, encrypted data is not uh, dependent on keeping the encrypting uh, algorithm secret. In fact, algorithms are often published so that research to uh, uncover their uh, weaknesses can be done. The security of any crypto system depends on keeping some or all of the elements of the uh, crypto variable or variables uh, or key or keys as a secret. This table shows an, uh, the encryption uh, key power with different key lengths and maximum number of guesses. In addition, it uh, includes the maximum time to crack and the estimated average time to crack. That will be all for this session. If you have any questions, uh, please email it to me. Thank you and have a great day.